I've often joked that every time I write a book, I get a million dollars worth of free therapy. But today I'm going to give you that million dollars worth of free therapy in about three minutes. Here's the deal. When I wrote my first book, I went and interviewed all of these great accomplished women trailblazers and asked them what they learned the hard way. One of the women that I interviewed was a woman named Christine Fugel Hughes. She's the founder of Nature Sunshine Vitamins. It's a company she started with $150 and an idea, and she turned it into a $400 million a year empire. I asked her what her leadership style was. She said, you know, I get up in the morning, I go to the closet, and I try to find something that fits because I'm overweight, and I just go out in the world and do the best I can. I couldn't believe she'd said that. I said, well, wait a minute, let's talk about your weight. And the sigh that came out of this woman's heart was as powerful and as deep as the sigh that had come out of my own. Because like her, and more than likely, like you, I've had days when I've woke up and just completely berated myself for something that really wasn't all that important. And because that happened in that interview, I went and interviewed all of these accomplished trailblazers and said, tell me about your self-esteem. All but five of them admitted that they had self-esteem issues that really kept them down, but that they put them in check so that they could at least perform in the work environment. Well, I always say that four out of the five, I think, were lying because this is the disease of our generation. We're mean to ourselves. We say meaner things to ourselves than we would say to complete strangers. We say meaner things to ourselves than we would say to people we don't even like. We will beat up on ourselves in a way that is so detrimental. And yet, can you imagine if the negative things you say to yourself were said to your child from somebody else? What would you do? And I have to ask you, why are you doing this to yourself? For me, this was so absolutely liberating to find out that successful people also had the same self-esteem issues that I had because that meant I had to deal with the issue right now rather than counting on some other achievement or some turn in the road that was going to fix everything. And when I realized as I started to talk about it in my speeches that this is universal, it gave me permission to shut that voice up. When I hear the negativity coming out, I just say, shut up. I know it's not real. And you may not realize this, but people that you look up to and may put on a pedestal do the same thing. It's not real. If you hear a negative voice in your head, you've got to wonder, what is that doing to alter your performance and to obviously alter your general happiness in this life? You get one chance on this earth. You really have to make the most of it. And that starts by making peace with who you are. You're fine. You're fine. I promise you. If you need to lose 10 pounds, if you need to lose 100 pounds, you are fine. Fine. Accept who you are and just carry on because this is not a real thing we're doing to our heads. It's a big game. Shut that voice down. Okay. That is your million dollars worth of free therapy.